Hello dear friends, welcome back to your own YouTube channel Civil Engineer. In previous video, we have discussed two important properties of material elasticity and plasticity. In this video lecture, we are going to continue our discussion about important properties of materials. Today we will discuss more important properties of materials like ductility, brittleness and malleability with proper sketches and animations. As a civil engineer, you need to know about these properties. So watch the video full and do not forget to like this video. Let's get started. We will start our discussion with ductility. Ductility is the property of material which allows a body to undergo plastic deformation before fillable. Ductility is the property of material which permits or allow a material to be drawn longitudinally to a reduced section under the action of tensile force. A ductile material must possess high degree of plasticity and high degree of strength. This property of material is useful in design of structure. As a civil engineer or structure engineer, you need to design a ductile structure instead of brittle structure. Let's suppose we have a material having its length in knot. If we apply a tensile force P on this material, Increase in the length of the material will occur in the cross-sectional dimension of the material will be decreased before pillar. So this property of material by which a material undergo a plastic deformation or elongation instead of abrupt pillar is known as ductility. Now we will discuss some more details about ductile material. Now we will discuss that how we will determine that the given material is a ductile or brittle one. If Forced elastic strain or deformation is greater than 5%, it is called ductile material. Ductile material will undergo large permanent strain or plastic deformation before pillar. Considerable reduction of cross sectional area before fracture will occur, as you have seen in the previous animated example. Example of ductile materials are lead, plastic, mild steel, and and copper. Now we will discuss brittleness. Brittleness is the lack of ductility. Brittleness is the property of material by virtue of which a material spells are broke abruptly without undergoing plastic deformation is called brittleness. Brittleness implies that it cannot be drawn out by tension of a smaller section. Let's discuss this animated example in, in which we have a material having length L naught. And if we apply a tensile force P, so instead of elongation, it will be broken into two forms. So we can say that brittleness is the property of material by which it fails abruptly instead of undergoing plastic deformation or elongation. If post elastic strain is less than 5%, it will be brittle material. Brittle material fails with later or no plastic deformation. No or very less reduction of cross-sectional area before fracture or failover. Examples of brittle materials are bronze, glass, concrete, cast iron. These materials fail abruptly. These material fails abruptly without undergoing any plastic deformations. Now we will discuss the failover plane of brittle and ductile material. First, we will discuss the tensile failover. If we have a ductile material and if it is stretched by a tensile force, so it will fail in shear. The failover flange will be at 45 degree. Before failover, cone formation will occur. As the failover is shear, so the shear strength will be less than tensile strength and the tensile strength will be less than compressive strength. If a brittle material is subjected to a tensile force, no cone or cup formation will occur. The failover plane is 90 degree and the failover is tensile one. In brittle material, tensile strength is less than shear strength and shear strength will be less than compressive strength. Now we will discuss the compression failover. For ductile material, the compression failover is accompanied by bulging of material. Or you can say that failover is due to bulging. Now, if brittle material is subjected to compression, it will fail 
in shear at a pullover plane of 45 degree in brittle material under compression no bulging of material will occur now we will discuss another property of material that is malleability malleability is the property of material which enables it to be extended in all direction without rupture is called malleability the difference in malleability and ductility is ductility is the ability of material to be elongated in longitudinal direction while malleability is the property of material which enables it to be extended in all direction malleable material possesses high plasticity but high strength is not necessary malleable property is helpful in drawing sheets from metal it's enough for today for more updated videos about civil engineering please subscribe the channel by clicking the subscribe button along with bell icon to receive the notification of upcoming videos and please do not forget to like this video thank you very much